Many trainers actually don't have any idea of how the menstrual cycle affects their clients' progress in training. So I'm here to explain. Now it obviously may differ from person to person, but this is what needs to be taken into account. So the average menstrual cycle is 28 days. Split that in half and you've got ovulation at day 14. The first two weeks is called the follicular phase and the latter two weeks is called the luteal phase. The follicular weeks will probably be your best weeks of training. And during ovulation, you may reach your peak performance. There are quite a few hormonal changes during ovulation, including the fact that your testosterone levels go up. So week one and two, pretty good. Week three and four, not so much. In week three and four, some women can experience PMS. For some women, it's crippling. Depression, fatigue, and irritability are just some of the symptoms of PMS for some women. But now from a training point of view, endurance is out the window. Strength is out the window. Many women may experience an increase in hunger, which totally screws with your diet. This is because there's a metabolic change in women during this period, and you need an increase of energy. But many people don't realize this, and they don't make changes to their diet, and then they just fall off the wagon. So what changes should us as trainers make for our clients? In the first two weeks, get your clients to push for their personal best. In the latter two weeks, maybe do exercises that are a little bit less complicated. Focus on volume training instead of just heavy weights. And ladies, don't beat yourself up during this phase because you know in the next two weeks, you'll be back up and running. Now dieting wise, for women that I coach, for the first two weeks, dieting's clean and strict because you're able to do it. In the latter two weeks, I let them have a little less strict dieting and a little more calories just so that they're on their maintenance calories. You can up the calories slightly by adding a little bit of fruit and it makes a big difference. So ladies, don't expect to have a high performance four weeks out of four weeks with your training. This is a very high expectation to have.